Hey there and welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. So for today's tutorial, what you're going to need is a poster board and a ruler and basically choose however far apart you want your lines to be. I ended up choosing three inches. So what I did was basically draw lines vertical and horizontal three inches apart. And the way I did that was basically um, just measure out three inches and draw a little dot on the edges of my poster board and then in the center and then basically use my ruler to connect the dots together to make a straight line. And now you don't have to do this step. You can easily just freehand it if you're comfortable, but I'm not. So I ended up making my lines. And again, you can make your lines any um, distance apart as you choose to. I just opted to use three inches. So once you're done drawing all your lines, go ahead and pick whatever color you'd like to use on your artwork. And I chose to use black and this is from Apple Barrel. And I got a brush and basically the way I wanted to make my design was kind of a dry brush style. Um, so what I did was just put a little bit of black paint on my brush and just lightly brushed it down. And then I pressed on my brush to make kind of that um, feathered look, I guess you could say what that's what it is. And what I did was draw um, in between two lines and then I skipped up the line the space and then I drew between the other two spaces if that makes sense so it's like every other space of your three inches apart so you just go ahead and you draw your lines with whatever color paint you choose to use for your buffalo check design and I chose black because I know this is something that I'm going to use um, around every room in my house. I know this is something that I'll be moving around or I might even make more um, because it's so simple to make and yet it makes such a pretty background for so many different items. So just go ahead and you draw vertical and horizontal doing the same thing um, every other space between your lines. You just draw or paint your um, line. And just continue adding paint as until you're happy if you choose to do it the way I am. Um, but again, you can paint it a solid black or a solid color. Um, but I wanted it to be more of this feather type look. So once you're happy with the lines, just go ahead and set it aside and allow it to dry. You guys let me know in the comments down below what color are you going to use? Are you going to use black or maybe gray or a red and white would be really pretty as well. So this is another option you can do. I wanted it to look more of a finished look towards the um, on the ends of my poster board. So I ended up getting some of these skewer sticks painting them black and then uh, once they're all completely dry I'm going to actually add them on to the edge of my uh, poster board to make it more of a finished look like a frame around my artwork. Another option if you don't want to do it this way is you can go to your local thrift store and uh, find a picture that a uh, frame that you really like they usually always have frames or just a picture in itself and then remove the picture that it comes with and add this to that frame and just paint it the color again uh, that you like your frame to be so just go ahead and add a, glue, a little bit of glue on the edge of your board and then you just add your sewer stick to the edge
Just make sure you don't add too much glue to your, um, for this part, because if not, it'll just seep out and it's not going to look right. So just add a very, very thin line of glue along the edges. And then, um, once you've added your glue, go ahead and add your skewer stick. And this artwork is so fast and it's so easy to do. Like I said, I might make a few more. I actually love the way it looked, the way it turned out once I was um, all done. So once you're done and it's all completely dry, go ahead and pick whatever sign you'd like to use on your board. Um, I chose to get this sign that says Merry Christmas. And at first I had thought about using burlap, but I ended up using um, some black ribbon instead to hang my sign onto my artwork. Now you don't have to do this part. You don't have to hang it. You can easily glue it onto the center of your artwork and have it have it uh whatever sign you're using permanently onto your artwork but i didn't want it to be permanent i wanted to be able to remove it in case i wanted to add any other kind of sign onto here or you know just do something different with this artwork so um what i did was basically cut two pieces of ribbon and i inserted it into the opening of my uh, sign, which in this case is the Merry Christmas into my wording. Now this ribbon was a little bit thicker than what um, the opening is. So what I did was just kind of cut a point on the ribbon so I could uh, run it through the opening. Now, once you're done rub, um, inserting your ribbon, just go ahead and flip it over. Now you can just tie a knot or what I ended up doing was just gluing the little part of ribbon down my wording or my letters instead of making the knots. So just go ahead and flip it back over once it's completely dry. And now what we're going to do is um, get our artwork and kind of figure out where I want to place my sign. Once I figure that out, I'm going to flip it over and glue the ribbons to the back of my artwork. And what I did was I glued one side of the ribbon first and then I flipped it back over to make sure I had it lined up the way I want. And I kind of just used one of the lines that I actually painted to get an idea of um, where I wanted to place my Merry Christmas sign and to make sure it was kind of straight and even the way I wanted it to be. Flipped it back over and just added the glue to that part of the ribbon. And that way I can just go ahead and put this, um, remove it or flip it back and just have the buffalo check or have the Merry Christmas sign on there. So to go um, with that, my artwork, I went ahead and decided to make a um, a floral arrangement in this vase. Now I purchased this vase at Dollar Tree and they had no more there except for this one black vase. But the cashier did tell me that there's quite a few different colors of this vase. Um, and hopefully they're going to get another box of supplies of these vases because I love the size and I love the design and I know I'll use them, um, in a lot of different ways. So I'm hoping that they do get some more in so I can make some more DIYs for you guys with these vases. So I added some burlap onto my vase with hot glue. I chose two different ribbons and put them together and just made a simple bow to add to my vase.
and what I did was just glue my burlap into onto the vase um, in a cross or an X shape and I just cut my edges into a simple point and then I'm going to go ahead and add my um, red ribbons onto my burlap this is so um, simple and such an easy way to add some color to your area and also to fill in whatever empty spaces you might have um, in your decor that you don't know what else to place there you can easily place a vase like this and add anything you like into here um, you can add some Christmas ornaments that you have extra maybe on a skewer stick and glue them on um, but what I ended up using was some of the greenery uh, stems that I had purchased from Dollar Tree last year and basically I just bent the back the bottom of my stem I didn't uh, cut the bottom because I know I'll end up using these again or some other way um, maybe next year so I used two of these greenery stems and I'm hoping that they get more in this year of these stems. They're so beautiful. I have quite a few of them that I insert into my Christmas tree. But I knew I wasn't going to use as many as I had. So I went ahead and used two of them for this decor. And I also had some of these cotton stems left over. So I'm using two of the cotton stems as well. And I'm doing the same thing for the cotton stems. Bending the uh, bottom stem to make sure that it fits in here and then and I just played with the stems to make sure that they were the way I liked them and that um, I liked the way that it looked at the end and there you have it two different and very simple DIYs to add to your Christmas decor you guys let me know in the comments down below which one will you be doing And here they are together. I just love the way the red glitters and stands out on my sign. I hope you guys enjoy these quick and simple Christmas decor. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.